Hello, this is Andy from vpnmentor.com and today I'll be demonstrating private internet access. So I'll be downloading the app to my desktop and show you around and see how it works. I'll also be testing the speed of the service to see how fast they are and can they unblock geo-restricted content like Netflix? We'll find out later on. And towards the end I'll be showing you how reliable and supportive their customer service is. So let's go ahead and try out private internet access. Private Internet Access markets itself as being the ideal VPN to shield your internet traffic from third parties, whether it's hackers or advertisers seeking to hoover up your data. Apps are provided for all popular devices that include Mac, Windows, iOS and Androids. And these contain all the features that will block advertisements, trackers and malware. Also, these apps support all major protocols and they're very easy to use. I'll be showing you this in just a moment. Over 3,000 servers are available in 25 countries. However, if you really want to dive into the specifics of this VPN, then do take a look at the detailed expert review over at vpnmentor.com. But for now, I'm going to move on and show you their pricing plans. Like many providers, you have three pricing tiers to choose from. All the features and the functions are included with each of these options. You can choose a six month option and you will receive a minor discount. Or by choosing the yearly subscription, you'll be given the biggest saving out of all of three packages. And finally, you can pay monthly with no discount and still enjoy all the features and benefits of the app. So before buying any VPN, check out the VPN Mentor deal page where you can find more discounts and money off coupons. So this will save you time when trying to find the best deal and of course you'll save a lot of money as well. So let's head back to the private internet access pricing page. So with all of these packages, you get a 7 day money back guarantee. So this is a reasonable amount of time if you want to try out the software and if you don't enjoy your experience then just email support and they should be able to honour this request but I'll be showing you whether they really do honour this towards the end of the video so stay tuned for that. So I'm going to sign up for the one month package and right away I'm presented with a whole range of payment methods. And you can choose to use Bitcoin here so this is a good way to maintain your anonymity when making your payment. Of course there are less anonymous payment methods including PayPal and credit cards and other alternative platforms shown here. So I chose to use PayPal and once I made the payment successfully I was sent two separate emails. One contains your username and password and the other contains a link to download the software. So I headed to the download page and I chose to download for Windows 10. And this file wasn't very big so it only took about one minute to download. Once that was completed Installation actually took about 3 minutes and then I was up and running. So when you've launched private internet access, simply input your username and password and you'll also have access to your settings panel. So this app is much more basic than some of the other apps I've tried. There is no world map where you could zoom in and select your server location and also most of the settings are very basic. On the main panel, you can choose to start the application on startup or automatically connect to a server when you launch the app. To access the rest of the settings, click the advanced option on the bottom left. Here you can choose which connection type you prefer, whether it's UDP or TCP. The remote port option gives you the chance to select which port you prefer. If you're not sure what to do, just keep it on auto. And similarly, you can manually enter a port number here. And the request port forwarding is a feature that can be used to optimize torrenting and peer-to-peer -peer activities, although it's generally not needed for normal browsing, so you can just leave this unticked if you prefer. As stated in the introduction, private internet access offers to help block ads, trackers and malware when you connect to the VPN. All you have to do is tick the box here and you'll be ready to surf more securely. The VPN kill switch is an extra feature that will safeguard your data and this ensures that no internet traffic can leak back to your ISP if the VPN connection cuts out for any reason. And you don't want that if you're downloading or streaming content, which will be almost like using the internet without a VPN. So tick this box just to ensure that all your traffic comes to a halt if the VPN cuts out. So the DNS leak protection is another valuable feature that will strengthen your privacy. This means that all DNS queries will use private internet access's own DNS servers rather than your original ISPs. To enhance your security and privacy again, you can switch on the IPv6 leak protection and this will block any internet traffic from using the IPv6 protocol while you're connecting to the VPN. Without this feature, some websites and services that do use the IPv6 protocol will end up routing all of that data back through to your ISP and not the VPN. And so you probably don't want that, so make sure to tick this box. And by ticking use small packets, 
This will slightly improve the performance of the VPN on some routers and mobile networks. And selecting the debug mode will create and store a log with certain details about the app's performance. So in the event that you need technical assistance, then private internet access can use this data and provide you with a solution much more quickly and smoothly. And so the final panel of settings gives you the choice to select which encryption methods you want. However, if some of this looks confusing, then you can always just select the default settings. Okay, with that demonstration out of the way, what I'm going to do now is quickly connect to one of their servers, just to see how well this app works for me. You'll notice a drop down box named Region. This is where you can choose which server location you prefer. And another way to select a server is to hover over the app icon found within the icon tray as displayed here. So right click and then all of the servers will be displayed. So I've chosen Island and I'm timing this connection to show you how fast it takes to connect. And so Ireland is a neighbouring country to where I'm based in the UK. So this should connect pretty quickly. Excellent, it only takes 8 seconds. So that's all good. So let's disconnect for now and I'm going to move on to test private internet access a little bit more thoroughly. So I'll be testing the speed of their service and whether they have the power to unblock the popular streaming service Netflix. But first, this IP leak test will show you that I'm no longer connected to the VPN and that all my traffic is being handled by my original ISP based in the UK. And before testing the speed of private internet access, it's worth testing out the speed of my original internet service provider. So we can then compare the results and give you a clear idea of how fast this VPN really is. So the results give me a ping of 40 milliseconds, a download speed of 19 megabytes per second and an upload speed of 21. As I stated already, I'm going to see if PIA can unblock Netflix. So being a UK resident, very often certain films and TV shows aren't accessible in my location and can only be viewed if I was located elsewhere such as the US. And so to demonstrate this, I'm going to search for a TV show called The West Wing. This isn't normally available in the UK and is only part of Netflix's US catalogue. So as I search for this, it's no surprise that I've got no results at all. So the only way I can watch this show is to hide my normal IP address and tunnel my internet traffic through one of Private Internet Access's US servers. And so before doing this, don't forget to sign out from Netflix, clear your cookies and restart your browser. And this is to ensure that you stand the best chance of unblocking their content so there's no interference from your previous browsing session. So let's head back to Private Internet Access and I'll select one of their US servers. So I'm just going to choose Florida. Again, let's time this connection to see if their app is efficient as last time. Again, quick and simple, and this time it takes 7 seconds. So once again, here is an IP leak test which confirms that my data is being routed through the US IP address in Florida. Of course, as promised, let's do the speed test of this server. So private internet access is giving me a ping of 149 milliseconds, download speed of 12.91 and an upload speed of 7 megabytes per second. So with these speeds, I'll still be able to browse with little interruption. And also, these are reasonable speeds that can provide a smooth streaming experience. Don't forget that servers that are further away from you will impact on your connection speed. So servers closer to you will generally be a lot faster. For this demonstration, I've chosen Florida because I need to unblock Netflix. And so there's only one way to find out how this server impacts the streaming quality. So let's head back to Netflix. I've now entered the US catalog of Netflix. So let's search for the West Wing again, and it now appears as the first result. So let's click play and see what happens. Excellent, so private internet access has successfully unblocked Netflix. And if I quickly skip to another part of the video, buffering time is pretty minimal as you can see. So well done, private internet access. Okay, so now what I want to show you is how to cancel your account, and also show you how responsive their customer support is when I ask for a refund. So to cancel, Simply log into your account by clicking login at the top of the main homepage. Once you've logged in, scroll to the bottom of the page and then click cancel subscription. You'll then be taken to a page where you'll be asked for a reason for cancelling. So tick whatever box applies for you and then click complete cancellation. You will receive a notification on screen and you'll also receive an email to confirm that you've cancelled your account and that your automatic payments have been suspended. However, unlike some other VPN providers, Private Internet Access doesn't automatically supply you with a refund when you cancel your account. And as stated here in the FAQs, you will have to send support a message to request your refund, either by email or contact form. As shown here, I submitted my request via the contact form. However, unfortunately, I didn't receive a reply from support after sending this message. So even though cancelling my account was easy enough, 
Chasing them for a refund, on the other hand, has proven to be slightly more difficult. So, in summary, Private Internet Access did provide a straightforward and smooth app, I had a smooth browsing and streaming experience thanks to the fast speeds, and of course, as you saw, they did unblock Netflix successfully, so that's a plus. The only drawbacks were, I couldn't find a connect button within the app itself, instead I had to navigate to the taskbar to right click on the mouse and then connect, that's just a minor drawback. And as you witnessed, you do need to chase them up for a refund if you choose to cancel your account, whereas some VPN providers actually just do this automatically. And of course, you witnessed that I didn't actually receive my money back, and I didn't even receive a reply from support either. So I'm guessing they're not going to honour the money back guarantee this time round. But that's just my views, why not read what other people have said over at vpnmental.com. And this is a great way to find out whether the VPN provider is really trustworthy or not, so if you've had experiences with private internet access, positive or negative, do leave us a comment below. And of course don't forget to like and share this video. So thanks for watching.